Well, it's a pretty good uh, crew of pitchers you guys have out here. Could you talk a little bit about just the different guys you have out there, what you expect to see of them, what you've seen so far from the different ones? Well, I had uh, Brawl most of this year, so I have a pretty good feel for him. Mm -hmm. um, he's a guy that can throw three pitches for strikes and um, competes in the strike zone really well. Mm -hmm. uh, McKinney had him uh, the second half of this last year too, so I, got a, I got a pretty good feel for him as well. Mm -hmm. um, he had his times of struggle, um, great learning lessons in, in terms of um, the, the need to throw pitches over the plate, yeah. um, especially secondary pitches, mm -hmm. um, just to give him some wiggle room on the fastball. Um, Epler came up at the last uh, last two starts uh, of Double A, so I'm still getting a feel for him. But I like the arm; um, mm -hmm. it's it's a big arm. Uh, now it's just the the uh, learning how to pitch, you know, sequences, things like that, yeah. to get the advanced hitters out. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then Cody Dixon. I, this is the first time I've really spent any time with Cody. He was in high A all year, okay. um, but he's got a he's left-handed with a good arm and and. Uh, you just gotta learn to trust the stuff, and that's kind of what we're going through right now. You'll find work if you're a left-hander. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and it comes. He's got three pitches. He just needs to understand that there are three pretty good pitches. Um, and then Trevor Williams, who we just got. Mm -hmm. uh, I like him from what I've seen so far. And then we saw him last year in the Florida State League a lot. Yeah. Um, so um, I like what we're seeing there too. So.